Okay, Miss Riley. I have brought home this. What is the world is that? The people of YouTube who have been watching a while knows what this is. This is my blast shield. What's a blast shield? You know when you blow crap up and you don't want to get hit in the face, you put something between you and the blowing up of the, of the thing? Well, we don't have anything. What do you mean? Oh, this is what you're using. What? Why does it feel so... This is what I'm using for what? Oh, testing our blades. Yeah, I really don't want to be next to that. It's spinning at 7,000 RPM blow up in my face. Because then it's going to go... So I brought that. I brought face. that. I had that storage in my storage. And I had this storage in my storage. And then I have this. Okay, you know what this is? It tells you how much force it can... No, this is just a linear rail. See? These move real nice on the flat surface. Let me feel. They're a little sticky. I'm going to clean them up. See how they, they hold it flat that you can't twist it in any direction? Yeah. So we're going to mount a, a something to this and mount our motors to that so it can push. That's what I was talking about. Yes. I just didn't know what to call it. Okay, this is a linear rail. It's a little linear different than what... rail. Rail. And this is what you kind of had mentioned but didn't really understand. This, do you know what this is? This is called a load cell, a load cell, okay? Because we're 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 testing the load. Do you see this big black blob? Yes. See this wire? Yes. It's the only place that there's a big oh there's a big black blob here too. So inside here, this has been cut out in some way, and then there's a resistor in here. You know what a resistor is? The things that control my plane, our plane. Oh, those pin things. What? Resistors are those pins, sort of, with the colors on it. There you go. Those are resistors. And what do they do? They resist electricity, right? So Make it more powerful or less powerful. Uh, yeah, kind of. They, 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 uh, yeah, kind of. Sure. Something like that. <laughs> they, they give a resistance to the flow. They're kind of like putting a bunch of rocks in a river slow the river down or sometimes make it speed up well you can't really speed it up any faster than it's going you can only slow it down everything has some resistance even my hand in the air has some resistance very little yes but it's there so here there's a resistor that changes its value depending on how stressed it is okay so like if I grab your arm right here and I pull, you can feel that pull, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if I kept pulling, it'd probably start hurting. Okay, that would be a strain. They call this a strain gauge because it's gauging how much strain is on your arm in this case, but here it's on the resistor. So you mean we're gonna use that for a blade? We're gonna use this to measure the force of the blade of our motor battery blade combination propeller, oh. not not blade, propeller. So, I have it hooked up here to a strain gauge. Shh, that's so loud. I have it hooked up to a strain gauge sensor. Okay, and it should be calibrated since last time I used it, but if we plug it in, I'll show the audience here. It has a number in pounds. It's that negative number. If I hold this in the air, and in fact, if I hold this end, it should be pretty close to zero, except it went up a little. Now if I lift this up, you have to stand up so you can see this number. If I lift this up, now I'm holding on this end, all the weight is over there, right? It's trying to fall down. Mm -hmm. So there's a strain gauge at the bottom and the top. You see how this metal's cut out? Mm -hmm. That's cut out because it, it, you want the metal to bend a little. That's why it's so thin here. But not to where it breaks. Right. So this is rated for like 150 pounds or something. More than that, it'll break it. Okay, but we're looking at a small measurement, like three to five to ten pounds. So the problem is, is that this is really not that sensitive. You can see I can, I can, I can try to break this thing, like bend it, and I'm applying. Actually, it's okay. So this has to be fixed, and this pushes. So see, I can put about twelve pounds on there. But it's, see how jumpy it is. Okay, we, we are going to create something that multiplies the force. 
um, that makes this a little more accurate. That's what we're going to try to do. In fact, it might be the wrong way, so I don't know if that's going to work. But we're going to use this anyway as our measuring device. It won't work. And it may not be perfectly accurate, but we can make sure by weighing, by putting a weight on here. Where's my little... I don't know where my scaled weight is, but... It's too loud for the camera. So, I'm glad you can whistle. It's too loud for the camera. It picks it up so loudly. It does? Yes. So, basically... We're going to build a little test rig, and hopefully use this, and determine how much force that the propeller makes. Now, we can use a regular scale, like uh, the one that's still hanging here. We can use a regular scale also. In fact, this might work better than this, but we're going to determine that later. But I just want to show you that's pretty cool. Yeah. But we, we might even just attach this to here, turn on the prop, and allow it to, to pull this and, and measure this way. It might be easier. But I don't know if this is... is uh, it might produce more force than what I can measure, and my other scale is like really big, so I don't have a medium scale. I only have a small and a big, or like a big. <sighs> anyway, we gotta build a motor mount for the motor. Yeah. So that's what we'll do now. Okay, good luck. I'll be back in three hours. Wait, what? What? I can't do this by Why? I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh. I'll write it down. No. <laughs> I'll not be able to do that. <laughs> you would. You just need a little guidance. Yes. Okay. What do we find? A piece of metal. So we're going to mount... We're going to cut this into a triangle. That's pretty heavy, but we're going to cut this into a triangle. How heavy is it? Oh, I mean... <laughs> Feel it against the bracket, the motor bracket. What does it feel like against the motor bracket? Huh? That's heavy. It is? Yes. Like more heavy than the bracket? More heavy than that? Yeah, is it? Yeah. Okay, well we'll punch a hole right in the middle of that when we're done to make it really light. But we need a solid piece of aluminum. So I found that in the junk drawer here with the aluminum. And junk it's drawer. it's not square at all. None of these sides are square. So take this to the milling machine and mill it square. Said I don't know how. What you mean you don't know how? Just stick it in there. Get the right tooling. Get the I don't even know where the toolings are. Just get the dial indicator and put it on there so you know it's square and just do it. I don't know how to work that thing. Oh, I guess I'll show you. What's the matter? You can't figure it out either. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting on lip gloss. Your lip gloss. Yeah, I want to look sexy. <laughs> wow, maybe I'm in the wrong. Is this my garage? <laughs> <laughs>
Daddy did it. No, in the other voice. What? What you did before. Daddy did it. No, before. I don't know. She can't remember three seconds ago. I'm just excited. <laughs> it's on. Don't come over here. It's off. Oh. It's off. Oh. It's off. Oh. Alright, what are we doing? What's We're the purpose testing of? our props. And what are we trying to do? Where are the props? Find how much force it pulls. And? That's one one thing we're trying to find and out. What victory! else? And victory! And making our plane fly. <laughs> well, what, is, what are we looking for? What's the word? E Fe efficient. Efficiency. We want to know if we want to see how efficient or how long it'll last, right? Yeah. So we've got the vase Vesca data here, which we'll analyze. We've got our current going to the motor, our current being drawn from the uh, the battery, and just all kinds of uh, good information, RPM, all kinds of stuff. And we set up our test rig. This is our test rig. So yes, we've got a prop. <clears throat> we've got a load cell. Lily's is not happy. I said she'll put it in the shut that door so we can actually like have a conversation and not have to have any undisciplined children in here. Thank you. So, anyway, back to what I was saying. We've got our motor here, which is on. I need to be careful. We have our load cell, which is pulling against here. I just kind of flipped it around so that it would pull against itself. It's attached to the frame. So when I pull on this, this way, which the prop is going to go that way, then our pounds will show up on our meter. So as I push this, we can see that. Make sense? And then there's a little bit of friction. Remember how we calculated like 250 grams of friction on the mm -hmm. thing? So if I pull this tight and I let it go, it's at about 0.3, but if I move it, then it's at zero. So that 0.3 is that f little bit of friction that's on here. So we're accounting for that. That's important. We've got a 22.2 uh, volt battery here and it's running at about the nominal 22.2 sitting at 22.5. So this will give us a good me medium average. If the battery's higher it might be a little more, a little less. But the motor controllers controlling all of the parameters so the battery voltage shouldn't matter a whole lot. Okay. And then we've got a mini Vesk 4.0 or 4.2 running the uh, the motor here. So it took me a long time to get this to work because this is not designed for high speed motors. It's designed for high torque, low speed motors. So low RPM, and we're running at the maximum RPM of the controller. The motor can run faster, but we're not letting it because otherwise the controller will blow up. The drivers can't handle it. That would be bad. Yeah. So what the goal is today is we're going to set up this test. We're going to find out a few different things with the props and go from there. So let's gather some data.